Let's go now to Dave Cormack, political commentator, PR specialist and former communications and policy director for the Green Party. Also on the line we have Tō Henere, former National Party MP. If I can start with you first, Dave, National might have been thinking it couldn't get much worse and then it just did, didn't it? Yeah, that poll is a big oof for uh, for the National Party. Uh, talking to some people today, they thought that that the News Hub poll would be about their floor, uh, but I think what this shows is that there actually really isn't a floor for, for either party, and that this is as bad as it's been since since 2003, I think, so coming up near 20 years. Do you think that this makes Simon Bridges' fate any clearer, having two polls that basically mirror each other? Yeah, so there were a few MPs who said they were kind of waiting around to see if this poll would mirror the, the News Hub poll. And I think they were hoping that it would be really clear-cut. If it had been a 34 or a 35, I think that just would have made it even more confusing for them. But I think getting that two in front of the number has probably solidified it for Todd. Um, I'm pretty sure that uh, Judith, who has who's remained out of it uh, sensibly to date, uh, will probably swing in behind Todd on those numbers. And I know that she'll bring a few votes with her. If I can bring you into the conversation, To, do you think that Simon Bridges can survive this? Um, uh, in, in terms of the leadership uh, vote, uh, no. And in terms of even his political career, um, he is gone either on the 20th of September uh, or before. Um, I, think it's a, I, I think it's a shock. Um, but but I've got I to gotta say... Um, Jacinda has played her hand like the best card player I've ever seen, and she's been she's been given a few um, uh, good little bits and pieces, and namely the COVID. She's been in the in in the spotlight every day for the last eight last eight or nine weeks. But this poll hasn't only been about that; it's been about Simon and the way he's handled it since he, be- he became leader, and it's been going down every time. And, 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 and so um, he's toast. He's gone, Burger. So you think if he loses the leadership tomorrow, it is a question of whether he walks away then or he tries for an electorate seat, or do you think he'll walk away at the election? Oh, I mean, I, if I was him, I'd walk away now. I mean, what's the point um, when nobody wants you? Look, look the, the, the thing is, is that um, this poll, not only is it bad for um, uh, Simon, but it's bad for the party. And what's worse for the party is that a couple of months out from an election, they're having a leadership debate, a leadership challenge, which we all thought only happened in Labour. Dave, you know, if I... And I, 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 I kid you not... Um, this this will devastate uh, national like most of them uh, haven't seen before. You know, we we all came in on the on the back of uh, John Key on his popularity, and and uh, mate, a lot of them are going to go out on the back of how um, poorly Simon has done over the last couple of years. Dave, if Simon Bridges is ousted tomorrow, can he just go to the back room and hang in there, do you think? That's what Andrew Little did on 24%, not huge differences between the numbers we're seeing here. No, because I think Andrew was a man of dignity and Simon hasn't really shown that over the last couple of years as leader that he is that guy. Uh, the more New Zealand got to know him, the less they liked him. And so I think he's probably more inclined to take a burn-it-all-down approach. Uh, and, you know, he already threatened the caucus earlier that if they rolled him, he'd trigger a by-election. But I think he wildly overestimated his importance to Tauranga. I think National could run the donkey in that electorate and still probably win it. Though when they're down at 29%, they're going to start losing a few electorates too. And so there's going to be a few MPs that are in tight electorates that are going to start worrying about their jobs now too. Nothing like unemployment to focus the mind, you're saying? Very much so. And like many other people in New Zealand who are probably staring down the same terror, at least these MPs will get a taste of the real world. So in February, I looked back at um, polls in February. Well, they basically had um, National and Labour neck and neck and and actually uh, National a couple, a point and a half ahead. How could the party have lost so much support so quickly? Well, oh, but part you, of what you, Toe you, was saying... You, 
Oh, sorry, you go, Dave. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. it was part of what Toe was saying and that we've had a lot of exposure to the PM and we've also had a lot of exposure to Simon, right? Like, so a lot of people have been paying attention to politics, probably more so than in a long time, because we've all been sitting around in our houses with nothing else to do for the last seven weeks. And so the more they see of this guy, the less that they were inclined to vote for him to be their prime minister. Here's a, here's a question that a lot of those people would have asked themselves when it broke during the COVID lockdown. How is it that he can drive a thousand k's to Parliament just for a select committee, which most of us, um, in fact all of us, had to do via Zoom or Skype? And that was one of the questions. And 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 Dave is absolutely right. We had nothing to do other than watch the goggle box or listen to the wireless. And what was on the wireless and what was on the goggle box? Politics. Hey, um, To, you were there for the Jenny Shipley, um, Jim Bolger spill. How nasty can these things get? Oh, no, it'll be nasty, all right. Um, and, and it's a sort of, I hate to say it, but I quite like that, uh, that, that sort of carry on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know whether it makes me a meanie or what, but... The fact of the matter is, is that um, you know, National are not going to win this election. They just aren't. And and you know, you'd have to be a real uh, a betting person to put even ten dollars on them getting forty percent. I thought they'd. I actually thought they'd come home with forty two, forty three, and it'd be a good. it will be a good contest. But these last two polls um, have destroyed any of that. And and it doesn't matter how many phone calls they make uh, tonight and between now and the election, I, I still think they're going to get a hiding from this, I tell you. So last word to you, Dave, before we go. What if Todd Muller and Nikki Kay don't get over the line? What happens to them? Well, they'll get... You mean in the leadership vote? Yeah, if they don't make it, they'll... if Simon Bridges is still the leader, what do they get sent right to the back of the room? Yeah, well, they'll get dispatched down to the back and all the other Liberal side of the party will as well. I mean, Todd's not an exciting guy. I don't think he's going to inspire Muller mania the way we saw Jacinda mania. Uh, so, you know, it's still a chance. But I'd say that at this stage, oh, Simon's, yeah, he's buggered. Thanks for that. Um, that is Dave Cormack, political commentator and PR specialist, along with Toe Henaday, former National Party MP, there just discussing the fact that the Colmar Brunton poll is out and it is worse for National than the News Hub Read Research poll.